Right, let's start again. <laughs> okay. Take two. Right. Take two. Take, Take two. two. Hello! <laughs> Welcome! Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Welcome to the Game Hive Podcast um, 2.0. Um, <laughs> we are back. It has been a long time since uh, we've done a podcast. Um, we have uh, Scott and Neville uh, back. Hello again. We have myself, Little Phantom, back as a host. And we have two new members. We've got Knight. Say hello, Knight. Hello. And we have Saki. Say hello, Saki. Hey, hello. And as we do for all new members on the podcast, um, guys, you need to introduce yourselves. Get, like, what you do in the hive. Don't choke on that water, Knight. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> when you started gaming, what games you play, blah, blah, blah. You know the spiel. Uh, Saki, do you want to start? Yeah, sure. Um... Saki from Netherlands, tw- uh, well, 32 years old, and uh, been a member for well, actually like a few months, half a year or so, and uh, lately admin, bit quite active in chat and trying to help others, and yeah, I uh, just love being here, I'm glad to be part of uh, the admin crew, um, the games I play. Um, mostly it was Destiny 1, Destiny 2, and lots of other games here and there. Um, and what I'm currently looking forward to is World of Warcraft Classic, and that's going to be my go to game. Is that what you're playing now? Is that what I was watching on the stream? Um, it's not out yet. I, I haven't been streaming for a little while. Oh. I'll get back to that. World of Warcraft's not out till next week, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah 27. Yes. Okay, nice. Tell us about you. Well, all I really need to say is I never shut up in the hive, so maybe just saying the word night and everyone will know why. Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) I I agree with that. But for those that are not part of the group, the community. Beyond beyond the hive. Beyond the hive, I'm... I keep forgetting my age. I'm 24, uh, father of two, but I'm a big gamer. In the hive, I'm the Discord manager. And as I stated, I never shut up. So you're going to see me talking in every channel I can. I mainly play Destiny 1 and 2, but I'm a diehard Assassin's Creed fan. So that's all I'm looking forward to playing. As noticed, the Your first name. thing Knight noticed in my camera was the Assassin's Creed pop figure <laughs> on my shelf. I can <laughs> even tell you who it is. Go that's how it. bad it is. Obsessed. Go on, go I can tell it. you Give who it is and what film it is. It's your Auditore da Frenzy. It's actually Agla Ear from the 2007 Assassin's Creed film featuring Ooh, Michael Fassbender, which wasn't made canon till Assassin's Creed Origins in 2010. Uh, bonus points for him. A bit of <laughs> Told you I'm too obsessed. He wants to, he wants to look at his lips. <laughs> yeah. It didn't be an M's for a five. I'm just going to beg my girlfriend I can buy it. Uh, <laughs> nudge, nudge. I got that out of a loot crate. Um, oh, I missed that loot crate. Yeah, yeah. Loads of, got, most of this stuff here is out of a loot crate. I've got some. Uh, you can't see it on camera, just above. It's some exclusive um, Marvel, which I absolutely love. It's like one of the original kind of shields for Marvel. It's so cool. We don't have loot crates in the Netherlands. We don't have that. It's, oh. it's an American thing. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah well, we do have those dolls, but not really loot crates. There was a, there was a convention, a gaming convention on in Carlisle. <clears throat> just, I think it was this year. And they were doing them, they were selling some of the stores, were selling loot crates from £25 to £50. Bloody so you don't, you, do, you don't know what you got in them. So what me and um, <clears throat> me and Dash did, we we, we loitered around people, opening <laughs> them to see what they got in them. So before we got, but we didn't get any anyway. But it was so hard not to spend any money because there was some loads of awesome stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would have broken 10 minutes. I... That's my only fear about going to a gaming event. Is is all this, is that the one that you streamed? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I saw some of that. Um, oh, it was absolutely, it was absolutely awesome. Everyone was just like, um, obviously dressed up and stuff, and some of the costumes are absolutely amazing. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> we got like early access, early bird. I got early early bird access, so we got in oh, an cool. hour before everyone else. And we we did a, a walk around the stalls, which took us about an hour and a half. 
And then everyone started piling in. It was like, we looked outside and it was like, Jesus, where have all them come from? So they all started piling in. And then we went around again. The stores, we missed loads in the first time around because our, we had bad necks by the end of the day because you're like, have you seen that? Up? Have you seen that? Up? Look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, it was mint. Yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, I, I would love to go to a gaming event, but as I tell you, my fear is uh, wanting to buy everything. <laughs> Goodwill, look, paintings, yeah. portraits, and all that type of stuff. And I was like, oh, I was like, I want that. I'll come back. And then you go to another store. I like that. I'll come back to that one. Yeah. Then another store. And you're like, I want everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm a big fan of the exclusive stuff, like the stuff that's kind of like rare to get. Yeah. Um, oh, there was some pricey but... stuff. I... Oh, I bet. I bet. My friend, yeah. uh, I went into my friend's house once. And you know uh, Lord of the Rings with the sword that's like broken into like five or six bits? Yeah. Um, he had like a, a figure of that, but it was like a decent sized figure. And it was like, he said it cost him a fortune just to get. I was just like, Jesus. That it is. Collector's item. Yeah. It's yeah. one example I've seen in games conference was a uh, sword for World of Warcraft, really. Frostmourne's really popular sword, well known. Huge one, it was like 200, 300 euros or so. Yeah. But I want it, yes. <laughs> Mate, the, the thing is, I would, but I don't want to buy anything that's too, like, collectors or exclusive until I get my own yeah. house. Yeah. And then I can design yeah. it how I want, have it in my place and stuff like so that. So you have somewhere to put it. Definitely. Yeah, I don't want it all cluttered into one room, because obviously I still live with my parents at the moment, so it's like, yeah, I've got enough shit in here as it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you want, you want it stored in, like, a room in cl- glass cages and a lock. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. Like, all lit up and all that. Yeah, I know exactly what you're on about. LEDs everywhere <laughs> around it to light yeah. it up and stuff. Yeah, oh. perfect. My For kids sure. will just destroy that in two minutes till I give in. <laughs> they'll grow up. They'll grow up, and then that's when you can start. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, I've got my eyes on some legendary Altair figures for 130 pound, and I would happily pay that. <laughs> will you play with, will you play with them though, like Game um, Barbie and Doll? I can. You know, and keep them in the box. Yeah. Hello, Ken. Hello, Bobby. Hey, Ken. I don't see why not. I can make Ken. little Assassin's Creed movies of them. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what you could do? You know when they do the Lego, the Lego yeah. men and the house and they make the little films and stuff films. like that? Yeah, yes. do that with yeah. Assassin's Creed. I should. Sure. <laughs> there you go. That's your YouTube channel right there, dude. Yeah, I studied media for about six months, so I know how to make stuff animations. Oh, there, there you go. go. Nice. Idea. See, look, we don't just provide gaming experience here. We provide <laughs> like businesses and company ideas. Like, come on. So somebody, somebody will be watching this and like, and they'll be going, hmm. Yeah, quick, quick. Like that, Night, yeah. Say it's patented. Say it's patented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah. It's copyrighted by me. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> idea owes me money. <laughs> Patent pending. Patent <laughs> TM. <laughs> I got find a copyright logo somewhere. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you could also stream it on Twitch or Mixer. Uh, I could actually. Yeah. With the making off. <sighs> yeah, the, the making <laughs> off. And then, <laughs> and then you, you give like a little teaser, and then you you release what it's actually going to be like on YouTube. <laughs> Don't tempt me. That sounds a good idea. <laughs> there you go. How to keep Night of Madness busy. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. I'm very easily <laughs> occupied. So, talk, talk of the Twitch and Mixer, a nice little swagway into that there. Hmm. Um, they're a bit of a rival company at the moment, like a lot's going on with the two. Um, so, and somebody over here, Saki, who uh, is using Mixer a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, just, just a little bit before Ninja went to Mixer. Um, Got to know Mixer from uh, our fellow member Fate Neo, uh, who showed me the ropes a bit. And you can do more on that than on Twitcher. And there's low latency from your stream to people talk to you in chat, which mm. is uh, really good. I uh, love that bit. Don't have to wait like half a minute or a minute or so to see the chat, and you can respond on that. So it's more interactive more real time it's brilliant cool it's one of uh, the perks what what else is there like, t- what is mixer like explain exactly what what is mixer Am what I is mixer to, uh, what does it provide <laughs> to promote that uh, <laughs> mixer is just a streaming service but uh, <laughs> it's an easy way to 
uh, you know, like Twitch, you have your Lloyd points or whatever. You have to set it up for yourself, though. But with Mixer, you gain points just by watching or just by chatting. You gain those points. There's a way to have a uh, double the rate of points you earn. <laughs> you could spend those on emotes or funny animations to your favorite streamers. So that's another interactivity that you can use with your uh, audience. It's just... What's the like cri- is, it, is it called crystals you have to or is it something uh, else? Sparks, 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 sparks. That's it. I knew it was yeah. something to do with them. Yeah, the premium currency. Uh, oh. What Twitch has bits. Um, premium currency mix is called ambers. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's it's a it's a micro. Off. It's from Microsoft, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I well, I I done a stream on Mixer um, the other day. Um, I got the the joys of having Saki and Fate come in going, ha, I knew you would come over to Mixer. Yes, um, we got it's, him. <laughs> it's not me joining Mixer. It's me just trying Mixer to see um, oh, if it is better. better um, yeah, how I like it, what the audience is like kind of thing. Mm. Um, and I will say, um, having a delay between your stream and you playing is good. Um, but when you're a small time streamer like we are, it, you don't really need that delay because who's coming to try and stream snipe you? Like, no one. Um, but it is nice to have that instant, as soon as I ask a question, the replies are there. Um, yeah. Because there is literally, like Sark said, there's no latency, there's no delay whatsoever. It's smooth. Um, but obviously, Twitch is still. It's the number one streaming source. Like it has yeah, it's, it. it's king, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> however, there are a lot of issues with Twitch uh, that people have seen around. Like A lot of people think Twitch is sexist. It favours women more than men. Um, a lot of people uh, see issues with um, uh, like things being said, whether it's racist words or... Um, just any kind of slurs yeah. like it could be uh you mispronounce something because of your accent and you get banned for it and it's just like well come on there's no support on that mm. um i don't know so how mixer see... goes down that line but but mixes but let's see where mixes that in the next year or so when it, if it does grow like twitch exactly. and then see what type of people go in there oh, um, they're, they're let's see what the... let's see what happens to ninjas um subscribers or whatever you know when he's free when he's well, free um view thing is over let's see what happens then i mean um, go on sorry Saki. yeah well mixer or microsoft um it's really in a good position with this with this deal with ninja even um they uh in in the coming years they, they will make use of xcloud that's also their service if it's going to be a market for streaming games they, they have both streaming side and uh, streaming of games and streaming on broadcasting. You have them yeah. both. So mm. they're in really good position, really. I mean, Microsoft, uh, to... Microsoft are not coming in at this week. They're, they're throwing a lot yeah. of money at it. Um, for, for Ninja, they've given him uh, a deal with a couple mil um, to, to convert him over. They're obviously, they're giving everyone uh, one month's free subscription um, to 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 Ninja's channel to try and get his viewers over from Twitch over to, to Mixer, which is crazy. Like, God knows what other deals they're going to be throwing out other streamers to get that, get them over to Mixer. Um, yeah. yeah. The only thing I found is when I joined Mixer, when I was looking through their stuff, I didn't find it as easy to use. Um, it, it was smooth, the whole thing was clean, and it was neat, unlike twitch where you have to go to this page then to this page then to this page just to access stuff but you could see where you needed to go on mixer it's not like that i i've got very confused on how to sort out certain things kind of do the panels underneath your stream there's none of that you just have to kind of if you know coding easy um but to do it yourself it's a nightmare Um, what's that on on mixer on mixer Oh. On on Twitch, they have a nice little button that you can just press and upload, and, it, and it's sorted. Mm. Uh, on Mixer, it's not like that. Um, but it, it's very clean. It's very smooth. I do. One night, you want to see us? Yeah. I I personally have an issue with both of them because 
I'm quite a small streamer with basic. I'm a basic, you know, press the PS4 broadcast button. I'm on Twitch. And yeah. Mixer is quite good and clean, and I do agree. But because it's owned by Microsoft, I do feel there is that accessibility lost. Because promotion-wise on Twitch, it's all about the big streamers. They never promote the little streamers, mm-hmm. which True. I think is very bad. Because there's been times <clears throat> I've streamed, I did a test, and... I didn't put any notifications out to my uh, social media or to the Hive. I left it quiet. And for my whole hour and a half stream, I got zero views. So for a small streamer, that is very off-putting. And then if they think, okay, let's move over to Mixer because I don't like how Twitch is handling it. And then they realize they need to fork out a hundred or pound for a capture card and a laptop because of the exclusivity between Microsoft and Sony it then puts them off exploring more avenues. And I think consoles that are going to focus on streaming need to be more exclusive to who they allow access through, be it Mixer, Facebook, not just log into Twitch and YouTube. I mean, at the moment, hopefully, that might change with the cross-platform. If cross-platform starts coming out with PS5, hopefully... Because a lot of this this issue is Sony. Microsoft are happy to cross-platform with people. Because yeah. they know they're still going to gain in the money from the people that like the feel and the look of Xbox. But Sony, for some reason, they're afraid to to just join forces. Like, I don't see no issues with it. Um, I think it would make a community a lot tighter in the gaming industry. Um, I think... But, but you got to remember well, as well, sure. Mixer is new, so it won't always be out on yeah. all the platforms. It used to be called Beam, if you ever heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, I think personally the issue with crossplay and Sony, and it's just from a bit of research. I think it's mainly down to the fact that Sony focuses a lot of its games as so- single-player story mode titles, and they're not really needed for crossplay because really, who wants to crossplay playing God of War or something? But I have seen the want to focus PS5 with more multiplayer titles. I think that's when crossplay needs to come in. Yeah. Because at the moment, it's... the only multiplayer titles you can get is basically like Call of Duty, Destiny, and a few free MMOs and MOBAs. And a lot of them have already gone crossplay. Mm-hmm. Like Dauntless I is mean, complete crossplay. Fortunately for Sony, Sony's always been about money. Um, yeah. I've been a Sony boy since well, since PS One. Mm-hmm. Um, they've always been about money. They when they released the PS Three, obviously you never had to pay to go online. But Xbox released the 360, which you had to pay to go online. And Sony was like, oh shit, we're losing 40 quid a year per person on this. Um, which is why they released it on the PS4, to, to pay to go online. Um, but that's why, because this all started with Fortnite, with the crossplay. Because um, they allowed it, but then they were like, oh wait, no, we're going to lose money. Because people will then be on Xbox or whatever. So they they stuck to, no playstation only which they realized they were losing money because people would rather be on a cross platform on pc and xbox than be on a ps4 uh, where you're stuck to yourself so i think cross platforms definitely going to be a thing because they're going to realize they're going to start losing money and sony loves money yeah um but going back on the on the the viewers on the twitch and mixer um, yeah. You made a very good point on the Twitch where you you sat at zero viewers, um, because obviously if you could say like Minecraft, if you click on Minecraft at the moment, you'll see all those with the the most views at the top, and the least views at the bottom. And I said this to Saki. One thing I want to try out on Mixer is because there's less people streaming on Mixer. If I go on at zero viewers, I'll still be near the top of the list. Because not as many people are streaming on Mixer as they are on Twitch. So you're yeah. more likely to get viewers because you're going to be near the top of the list and they're going to go, oh, let me click that stream. Or you will be the only one in seven days. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just think if streaming games is a popular site, and it is for both Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, and Facebook, I think companies need to realize there's going to be little streamers that are getting the legs that in. They need to, instead of ignoring them and giving them no support, give them small support like they do with big streamers, you know, how much they publish them, 
and maybe try and boost a little people's views so it makes it a bit easier to get seen because once you see one person and they enjoy you it's the word of mouth that can get you around and if you can't get that one person you're going to be sat at nowhere i i agree with you um unfortunately with companies they want to see money instantly not yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's, all, it's all tied in it's all tied in with the algorithms and stuff like yeah. how they set up and i mean I've sent um, when I start my stream. I've um, sent links to like um, loads of groups that I've joined, and I do watch some streamers in these groups, Facebook get, like groups and Twitch. Um, and when I do get questions like why if it posts on Facebook, um, posts in Twitch, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, but I do stream on Twitch as well. You know what I mean? So, oh, fair enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? But every now and then, you'll you'll find somebody who likes your stream. And if they if they've got like thousands of, of of viewers and followers themselves, and if they click and share you, that's where your viewers and your views start building up. It depends who sees you as well. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I said, Mom. some I've had some viewers. I've had four point K all, but it's it's hard to you the watching, but it's hard to get them in. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are, are like from different countries and don't even understand what you're saying. Because I go in some people's streams and I'm like, what the stream and what they're saying? You don't understand what people are saying, you know what I mean? So it's like, I, I know a lot of people come into mind and they send us a, a, a question or something. And I'm like, I don't understand that, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. the English slang, I wouldn't understand it either sometimes. So uh, <laughs> the slang <laughs> of it. <laughs> There's got to be something they could do to help out because I, I do understand with money, but. I've been streaming now for a year on Twitch, and for a good six months, I was locked at two followers. Even no matter how hard I promoted and how I was streaming every day, two hours a day, I'm very regular, and I was stuck at two followers for a good six months because yeah. I wasn't playing those top end games. And I just think you need to give little streamers a bit of a boost, and then I think try and get the word. <clears throat> what out. their angle is is they're trying to get you to do something different. Like yeah. that's you stand out for yourself. Yeah, if if everyone keeps Around. doing the same thing and they and they helped everyone do the exact same thing, it was kind of repetitive yeah. and boring. Yeah. It's like it's like Facebook. Basically, I read up somewhere that not that I did this, but if you put things like please, if you're asking people in your game description before you go live to to like your post and follow your post, yeah. if you're asking them to do that in your post, it picks that things like that that up in the algorithm and it'll block your out type of thing. That's why you need to ask in different ways, you know what I mean? Like stick yeah. a thumb up so people see yes. the thumb and they're like, oh yeah, like and blah blah blah. What you works know what I mean? is uh if you follow other streamers and you like them and you have them on your list and you do your stream and then you want to close it, just raid one of those persons if you have a couple of viewers. I don't know if that's possible on Facebook, but it is possible on Twitch and Mixer. Just raid the other person and they'll have your crowd, then again, they could think like, well, he raided me once, I should raid him back. And raid exactly. Him yeah, yeah. They'll have like 20 I understand. Yeah, you understand what you mean with Twitch, yeah, raiding people, I that that helps you, you help, they scratch yeah. your, their back, you, they scratch your back type of thing. So exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, it's it's I mean, hard work, it's not easy, it doesn't just <laughs> like follow, it's hard work if you have that many people um, streaming and doing different things, even I said to Sharon, I go as, um, do you think I need a gimmick or something? Do you know, have you, have you heard of a game called, um, oh, what's it called? Um, Renzo, R Reno Man or something. He wears a, a red mask across his face and he wears a super a superhero costume. Oh, he's, got a big, he's got a big beard and bald. Uh, yeah. But he looks bizarre. And when you, and, and as soon as you see his picture when he's streaming, you're like, that looks a bit like, strange and you click on it because it's, it's drawn in what's he got on his face you know what i mean but sharon mm. says no you don't need that just be yourself you know what i mean which i'm like oh is that a good thing like you know what i mean yeah i mean we're, we're trying to do that obviously to we're trying to do that in the hive as well now obviously like um all the streamers are, um, are streaming regularly we're helping each other jumping in each other's streams chatting here and there hosting each other as and when we can i think that's the best way to do it just like saki said help each other out and in that way, my viewers might go and watch Saki, and Saki's viewers might come and watch me, or or Fate, yeah. or Night, or anyone. Do you know what I mean? So, 
Uh, I've been off the scene a bit for a couple of weeks, but I uh, will be back on with World of Warcraft Classic as much <laughs> as I can, really. And then those views pop in, I'll rate those from the hive for sure. But, yeah. And while you're on the subject, uh, Saki, of uh, World of Warcraft. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what what is this fabulous uh, game you keep talking about? <laughs> no, it's uh, it's what I played for like five years long, from release till uh, third expansion. Five years, not much rating experience, but uh, it helped me through my childhood basically. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it, it was one game where, uh, yeah, just fancy rpg dungeons and raids and um, pvp it was new for me and for many people it's where it's all started for a massive multiplayer kind of thing uh, for people to join in and enjoy there and role play even and it's just brilliant um and i'm glad to see it's coming back in its original form because um, there's a huge difference in current retail versus classic uh, mm. versus vanilla, basically. A huge difference. Mm. Um, it's all now in retail, it's all automated, uh, no need to talk to others. Um, yeah, if you're Dungeon Finder, um, there's no reason to have a role. Everyone has their abilities. It's all nurtured for the uh, casuals, basically, so to speak. But in classic, you have to. Talk to people, really. <laughs> um, find your tank, your defense player, and find your healer. And you have your DPS from the group of five. You do your dungeons, but you have to search for them, talk to them. Are you tank? Are you healer? Can you help us out? Do waning caverns, that mines, so like like dungeons and such. And from there on, doing those things, it's, um, a lot of people uh, have held friendships, even met their. Uh, partner and uh, I'm not uh, looking for a partner no, 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 I'm just, just saying there's a lot of stories that people uh, met each other <laughs> in World of Warcraft especially in the US you hear a lot of it on YouTube and such uh, but it's also a game that broke relationships really <laughs> so formed relationships and broke relationships yeah <laughs> for, for, formed an online relationship broke a real relationship <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and the game does that. I mean, name one other game that does that. It's uh, it's insane, really. So when does this come out? Twenty uh, seventh of August, and I'll be there right at the floodgates at the release date. <laughs> Phantom, Phantom didn't know this um, oh. release date. <laughs> didn't he? I knew it was next week at some point. Saki's been talking <laughs> about it a lot. I can't wait. Um, we're gonna. Um, uh, me and Josh um, working in the background to set things up. Um, we've been actively recruiting on different forums, uh, discords. Uh, and you've already got a guild made, is, am I right? Yeah, so, yeah, we have a bunch of them and we can't wait either. And um, It's been good so far, but as soon as the game releases, then we, you'll, you'll see a lot of activities from me and Josh Ooh. and current members joining us. I could quite possibly get at them. Sorry? I could be um, possibly getting at them. Get, getting oh. at them? What? <laughs> that goes so fast. So there's some slang. I, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I will, I, okay, I will be buying it. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. Yeah, do it, man. Uh, See, this is the thing. Yeah. This is one I'm of my sorry. downfalls for the game. If it wasn't a monthly subscription, um, I would have probably have looked that's to get a, in it. That's the thing. But... It's it's only on MMO scene, really, since even before World of Warcraft. I think even EverQuest had a subscription, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Um, that they have a subscription based game. You have your free to play MMOs, which has cash shop, like we see in many different games nowadays with those microtransactions. Yeah. But the cosmetics. those premium games, those uh, commercial games were all. Uh, monthly subscription. How, how much is it a month? Uh, it could be, let's see, either half year subscription, 11 euro a month, to a monthly subscription to 13 to 14 euro per month. No, that's not okay. too bad. There's Night Frozen. Oh no, he's blinking. <laughs> yes. I'm very still. I'm like a tree. <laughs> that's new. <laughs> <laughs> Falling asleep to, to WoW Classic. <laughs> no, I'm... The sun's right in his eyes. 
<laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, I see it, yeah. <laughs> I've just got a few concerns about the World War Classic, not with the gameplay or anything. It's just, I don't know much about World of War, but from the communities I'm talking, a lot of people say the expansions are what's like killing off World of War for making it more casuals and changing the experience. Yeah, what after the really... fourth expansion or so, after Cataclysm, things started to break off. And I was just thinking, what can vanilla keep people going even past the end game? Because if it's the expansions that really started to drift it off, what are they going to do this time around to make sure that doesn't happen? And they're going to keep people wanting to play it for very long term? Well, they're going to have to come up with different ideas, and that's probably what they'll do. Well, yeah. some people, yeah, some people like the fact that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So people just like, yeah. like Minecraft, like, okay, yeah, they do add things, but it's still quite vanilla. It's still quite simple. Well, in my opinion, after Cataclysm, it was broken. It yeah. certainly was. Miss Pandaria and all that. Uh, Wallace of Draenor. I, I never touched those. So uh, have broken. they released any plans for, for World of Warcraft Classic? Like... Are they going to be um, introducing? I think this is what kind of what Knight was asking. Is are they going to be introducing anything onto it? Um, they'll they'll uh, release it as it is as back in two thousand six. Uh, it was f uh, a fully developed vanilla version called one point twelve, and what they do is they release stuff that was in there in phases. Uh, where for all and we have our first rate uh, dungeons of Nexia's Lair and Molten Core, I believe. And then the next phase is uh, PvP Battlegrounds and Soul Corrupt, uh, more raids and such. They were just in phases, really. Not sure why, but then again, I guess they want to keep the flow going for people to come back and play those old, new yeah. um, content, really. And oh. I think it's a good thing, though. Yeah, so, oh, excited to see you guys have fun and see some screenshots oh, and stuff. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be streaming it for sure. From wow. Level one to <laughs> six. Yes. Okay, I've done it on cam, on and off. Not sure. I have one last question. Yeah. Is it anything like the film? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, the film is from the lore book. Um, Orcs and humans. I think it was in Warcraft Raw One, the strategy <laughs> games, where you learn about the lore. So yeah, the Warcraft film is not about World of Warcraft. Damn it! <laughs> ha! I know my state. <laughs> hey, do you want to change um, seats because you you've got the um, Edward from um, you know the sparkly vampire thing going on there? <laughs> I like it. I, I think he's afraid to lift up the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I quite like it. It gives me a bit of a unique look. Do you know what you do, Knight? Ask like Sharon. Ask Sharon to stand right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> or I could just like scoot I saw her go past the back door there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I quite like the look. As long as I don't look at the window that way, I'm all good. Okay, okay Edward. <laughs> Edward Cullen. <laughs> So, um, a sparkle. <laughs> uh, talking on uh, uh, World of Warcraft Classic, I might as well go on to some other games like uh, Minecraft, uh, as it was mentioned yeah. uh, partially. Uh, there's a floating glass across Neville's. <laughs> 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 um, so we we have a Minecraft server now. I mean, it's totally starting off the craze of of Minecraft being big, like. It wasn't big before we started it, you know. Um, but yeah, we, we've decided instead of going for the simple vanilla Minecraft, we're going to go for the uh, modded uh, yeah. mod pack that um, Mono keeps complaining about is um, <laughs> Feed the Beast oh, Infinity complaining. Evolved. <laughs> He's complaining because it's such an old version, because Minecraft's uh, on 1.14 and the mod pack's 1.7. I see. So it's it's very old version, but it's, it's a zillions mods. So it's yeah, it's a good, it's a really really good mod pack. It's got so much in it, and it, for me, it makes the game so much more better and makes the game last longer because um, there's so much more to do. Um, PC so yeah, only, we, though. sorry, it is PC, PC only, only. Unfortunately, um, it means oh. Knight can't come and join us and and do a Minecraft dick in in 
<laughs> I've got a PS4, so I'm still going to We know. <laughs> it was a worm that Renzo made on a PS4. <laughs> Sorry? I, I never play survival. I just play creative. I built some mad stuff on there. I've got doors that are just lasers and everything. Nice. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we, we've got a good community going on it at the moment. There's, uh, one, two, three, four, five, about six players on it at the moment. Uh, Shady pops in every now and again. Hopefully Neville will come and join us. Well, I was thinking about that, right? Mm. What I was thinking, what, what's it, why is, somebody's laughing at this on one of these screens, who's that? Look at him. What? <laughs> 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 it wasn't me. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> um, I was thinking of um, getting like um, maybe, I don't know, 12 cans in. Then once I've after had about nine cans, start playing Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool. <laughs> it would be funny to see you do that on normal Minecraft. To see you do that on the modded Minecraft would be hilarious. <laughs> yes. We'll have, to do, we'll have to do like a pissed up version or something. Yeah. <laughs> I would have to watch that. That'd be one of the best. Oh, for oh, sure, yeah. for sure. Um, <laughs> hopefully, uh, me and Saki were talking. And we want to try and convince all the managers in the group to get Minecraft and come and join us. Get a PC and just slowly turn the group into a PC and come and join us. Especially, um, I don't know if you've seen Night, but in the server, I've built a huge castle, and it's got a round table in it. So, I noticed that. I was quite impressed. So yeah. when we have meetings and stuff, we can sit around the round table and, you know, we could actually act out something that we do. So, so like, if somebody's line. if somebody's stepping out of line, can I go over and slap them with one of my characters? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Bring a you... sword. <laughs> <laughs> I could give you a potato and you could hit them with a potato. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't talk about it much, but before I went on to 360, I was a big PC fanatic. I used to play Battlefield 2, um, Counter-Strike, yeah. uh, Gary's Mod, use TeamSpeak and everything. And PC is actually very good and versatile for gaming. I used to enjoy it, but consoles are always my favorite because it's just small and compact. <laughs> you can hide it from your kids. You just like them all. Like them all. You know what I mean? They're all brilliant in their own way. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Everything would... has its pros and cons. Really. Exactly. I would love to go back to PC because um, when I tried PC on Squat and Neville's Paladins a few, uh, I think it was last month, I was a lot better on it than I was actual PS4. Yeah, he yeah. was like a duck. He was like a duck to water. He was just was like getting... rallying up the kills and all sorts. I was like, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very skilled on the games because I think I completed the Assassin's Creed Black Flag in record time compared to how I did on 360 on PC, I was getting more stealth kills, I was quicker learning, and I just think if I could get a decent gaming laptop, I'd probably be on that a lot more than a PS4 some days. Yeah. Like I said, he came right. over for me to show off to him, so it was the other way around, so I told him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very adaptable, that's the funny thing, just stick some like, do, 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 see, that door, see that door, then I get out. <laughs> so you just hate that you invite someone over and and, and they end up yeah. check me out, check me out, Lenny goes on. Huh? Yeah, they take all the spark. <laughs> I, I tell you, I think someone told me to go on team speak on Battlefield 2 once and they were running around as a medic healing everybody and I was just sitting in a corner snipe and I think about fifty snipe kills. Yeah. I was like, I'm not leaving, I'm just staying yeah. here. I think they um, got blown up by a tank in the end, but... Stay, stay in your game, and once the kids are grown up, and then you can go full-time again. Oh, yeah. I'll be back on PC. Yeah, so, awesome. so as Minecraft well as um, the Minecraft server, which is uh, is going all good, we um, had a Seven Days to Die server that me and <laughs> Saki uh, managed. Um, yes. I've got that for the PC, and I've tried it, but it's um, I've played... Excuse me, it's the... Lemonade. <laughs> it's lemonade, honestly. Um, <laughs> I, I, I've had about 20 minutes to play on that. And I, I, you start off and I was ne next to this house. And I went in the house and then I'm not, I've not played it since. I don't know why. <laughs> you should I don't join know. us. I I, I've been teaching Phantom a bit. Yeah. Seven days and I mean, we, we've had, to, we had the server for a while. 
Um, yeah. And we've done really good. There was four of us. Uh, me, Saki, Mano, and Fate. Yeah. Uh, we built a... Well, we stole a big house mansion. <laughs> um, but we great idea. It took a while to find a good house that we oh, were yeah. we're, selling right. for. Got yeah. got a lot going, a nice garden, a, no, a nice horde base. Um, but over time, we just we got to the point where we basically had done everything. Yeah. Um, I personally, I'm new to the game. I thought there was going to be like these big bosses we could go and fight and stuff like that, but apparently not. All you have to do is just survive the horde every seven days. Right. Um. So recently, we uh, we all got together and we decided to end the season yeah. by um. Saki cranking up everything, so <laughs> having <laughs> as many thinking. zombies as possible come at us. Yeah. Um, we we used uh, a new base that Saki had built, and um, we literally Desmond, had yeah. about sixty to hundred FPS. And as soon as the zombies come on, like the second wave. I personally went down to two FPS. <laughs> <laughs> there was just so many of them coming at us. Like, it was to the point I had my gun in my hand. I was shooting, but nothing was coming out the end of it because it, it just, it was lagging that much. It just wasn't Ooh, triggering you, my bullets. Or you throw a Molotov and then it's like still there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mon- <laughs> when, when is it? Uh, <laughs> <at Fancy. laughs> Mono threw, threw a Molotov and it just sat in front of his face. It was just like, um, <laughs> is that going to go anywhere? <laughs> oh, dear. Um. Yeah. Uh, but it was good fun. We ended up uh, exploding everything up and and just kind of killing it there. But um, our plans are to uh, t- um, it's closed at the moment. The seven day server's closed, but we're looking at bringing it open again. Uh, we're going to be changing a different host. Yes. Um, yes. because the host we were with, unfortunately, just um, they weren't able to keep up with a good refresh system on the server. So therefore, the server kept crashing every six hours. Right. Six. Um, yeah. <laughs> instead of like most people, they would have their servers refresh like every night. Um, but this was just crashing every six hours of gameplay. Um, so yeah. new host, uh, new uh, probably a new map, Sagi. Uh, um, I guess so. Just a new map seed. Um, uh, maybe different, going up to the uh, mod pack. Yeah, uh, uh, g- going up to the, the the new version uh, as well. Yeah. Right? Well, uh, when I um, I mean into that um seven days to die will be updated shortly in a month or so and yeah. what they call alpha 18 and what they do is a couple of experimental branches to test new features see if there's any bugs and the community will get back to it and they'll update the game quite often in that period and then they'll release stable version what we could do is on the new host to um be on Alpha 18 experimental and just try and explore the new features together. Um, might be a good idea for those who enjoy some days. Yeah, um, could be some content as well. Yeah, uh, perhaps. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully. So, um, anyone out there who wants to play Seven Days and wants to try out the new Alpha 18, let us yeah. know. Join our join our Discord. We have a place for you. Um. Exactly. The the other game I can think of at the moment is Ark. Um, I know Shade. I don't know too much about it. Um, because Shady's not here, unfortunately. Um, but Shady's mentioned about an Ark server on the PlayStation. Uh, so this fits you in, uh, Knight. <laughs> um, but Sh- Shady's talked about a uh, Ark server that he's um he's gonna be opening up to the Hive. Um, as I said, don't know too much information because he's not here. So um, I think he said it's going to be on a new map uh, that's recently come out. So I know that much. Right. Um, it's another game I've got to get into as well. Yeah. There's just so many Lots games to get into. There yeah. is. There is. I mean, we'll have, to, we'll have to have. Sorry, mate. We'll have to have special events where we um, promote, get new members in, and try and all join in together in these particular events. Because to be quite honest, I'm being like honest, truthfully. Yeah, I probably won't devote me time to play these games, but I will join special events, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so I know, like, I know, know what you mean. All right, so if there's a big event where all the that the Hive members can get in and do on PC, PS4, or Xbox, 
doesn't matter which platform you're on, and everyone says, right, we're going to do this at this time, doesn't matter what platform you're on, get stuck in yeah. as the gamer hive, you know what I mean, and just everyone yeah. enjoy themselves and maybe make videos, make, make a montage of videos of, of different, you know what I mean, somehow. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, like, Ark with me is, uh, I, I, I played the Ark the day it came out, um, and I thoroughly enjoyed the game, but for me, sometimes it, if you progress too quick, you build a base, you've captured some dinosaurs, you beat a boss or two, and then it, for me, it gets boring myself. Mm. Um, I want to move on to another game after that. But mm. for, for an event, I'll happily come in, Ex play on yeah, the event yeah. for a little while, and then yeah. go back to the other game. Because I jump from game to game all the time. I'm not, yeah. I'm not one to just stick to one or two games. Mm. Um, I mean, you but... know which game I'm playing at the moment. <laughs> promoting that stuff oh. that whenever I see news, you know. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing, man. Honestly, it's epic. Um, yeah, it's uh, for those for those who don't know Neville, what 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 game are you oh. playing? Well, I play Hunt Showdown, Ooh. which is um, I don't know. It's do you know, do you know it's one of them games you'd be being waiting for type of thing. Something a bit different, you know. Yeah. And I was like, you know, and it's got us hooked. So, but I guess if I if I try and play other games and got into them properly, I don't know. There's just something about it. That's yeah, all I yeah. can say. There's something about yeah. it that that's got me gripped. Well, so, that's, the, that's the thing with these games. That's their their idea, isn't it? Is to to hook you yeah. in somehow. I think it's the cowboy theme. It's just the cool <laughs> music, the background stuff, the the yeah, way well, the guns handle. Do, do you yeah, see? Do you secretly well. want to be a cowboy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> More like a cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can see you in those oh, high hills. What a porn. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can see you on the back of the horse and Sharon on the front of it. <laughs> well, actually, I've got, I've got, you know, the um, plastic gun things you, what you call them you put around your waist? Holsters. A holster? The holsters. I've, had, I've actually got one of them with the, like plastic guns and that's all I walk around the house on. I don't have nothing else on just that. Is it pink? No, you, you just need your cowboy head and you have your character streaming a hunt show. No, that's all, that's overdressing that. Just just the, the whole, <laughs> just that. That's it. That's all I need. All right. <laughs> I hope the gun sits at the front. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course it's a big gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And, um... Rated 18. <laughs> <laughs> Mature audiences only. Yeah. Um, so talking about events, um, Saki, I believe you have an event coming up for us. Yeah, I have, I have been working no, actually with Knight uh, a bit and I've been uh, coming up with some more questions uh, uh, in the past few days. Uh, Knight doesn't know yet, yet, but I've been working on it. I have more uh, questions. He's about to find out. <laughs> quiz. <laughs> He's about to find out. Quiz. 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 Yeah. quiz. Yes. Um, I do have a quiz night planned and I'm going to need Knight's help since he's our uh, quiz master. Um, and he's doing a terrific job with that. Um, this quiz night is themed Lord of the Rings. Ooh! Um, yeah, we'll set up uh, a quiz to um, for questions, uh, score points. I have to still work with the score system. Mm. Um, but this quiz, you have a chance to win. Um, yeah, you have a chance to win Shadow of War. Just vanilla version, no DLCs for the PC. Ooh. So are we going to promote this, um, like, and get people in from outside in as well? And, you know... We'll be indoors on Discord, whoever... You just want to keep it between us? Yes. Right, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. So what, what date um, are we looking at? Um, I was looking at... Uh, I did mention it to... Um, to uh, Phantom, sorry. What's your name? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just this guy uh, over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, on the not a mute, are we, Phantom? No, uh, no. Not, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be contacting you guys tomorrow saying, can Damn we it. do it all again? <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. There's going to be some... Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> on the 25th of August, and I was thinking at 10 p.m. UK. Time. Right. Ten days What's time. Fifteen. Yeah. So I've got how many? How many um, films is there? Ah, uh, there's three. three films. Three. Yeah. So I've got yeah, I've got plenty of time to watch the film. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. You said the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Yes, I'm not sure. If 
few questions are yeah. from The Hobbit as well. But... I watched that as well. I was going to say, you're not including The yeah. Hobbit. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. Because that makes five I, films. I don't know. That makes five. I, 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 five. Here we go. He's the well, truth. There's three plus Hobbit, right? <laughs> yeah, but The Hobbit's in two. Hobbit's, is it? Hobbit split into it's two because it was. Films. It's three, but... three Hobbit films. Is it three? Three? I thought it was two. There's the Hobbit Unexpected Journey, Hobbit Desolation of Smaug, and The Hobbit The Cloud Army. Oh, because yes. Because uh, right. they That's accidentally cool. split it into different chapters. It's because the, the book was book. too big. It's been yeah. so long, really, yeah. The story I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the winning. Than, <laughs> 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 there used to be, right there, a Hobbit poster, which actually now sits down here on the floor. It's still not winning, you don't know how many movies he has. <laughs> well, maybe that's a bonus question at the end. Oh, of the quest. check that out, guys! <laughs> that's a really good one. Like it, yeah. I think it's, uh, mo most of the quiz questions will be Lord of the Rings, um, Shadow of War. It's uh, I think it was between the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Between those sagas, really, is where yeah. Shadow of War, the game, takes place. So. I don't know a lot on the game. Correct me I, know, I know a though, fair bit about the sure. films. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just been, been a while. I've been searching all over the internet for those questions and learned a thing or two. Yeah. <laughs> so those of you who want to take part in the quiz, you've got 10 days to watch all six films. Should be on Netflix, I think. <laughs> just just to brush up. Netflix, right? No? There's three on Netflix, and The Hobbits aren't, because I've double-checked. Yeah. I'm quite obsessed with them, so... <laughs> Mm. Fair enough. Nice. Everyone, I just want to point out, everyone knows this here is me, Mike, don't you? That's oh, sticking yeah. up. Oh, is it? I thought it was one of your <laughs> toys. <laughs> no, <laughs> just in case there was any confusion. Oh, oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I oh, thought it was one yeah. of your toys, Neville. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Bad. I didn't, I didn't want to. I did. I didn't want to mention it earlier because I didn't want some awkwardness to be there. But, yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you like yeah. it? Quiz night. Twenty yeah, so of August. August. And um you can is know. is the marvellous Sharon working on a quiz as well or she wants she, yes, she wants to do um you know uh, Nev's Wonder Woman um wants to do another quiz night at some point and I'll probably be a horse getting shouted out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly I, I get a, I got, actually get stressed at doing the scores now. <laughs> Shouts at us. <laughs> She, she, she's like, um, you know, she's nice to everybody and thing and all that. And when, you know, to me, she's like, don't put that down. Up, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Easy. Uh, yeah. So she definitely wants to do another one. So we'll probably do some regular ones. That's cool. Might even cool. some prizes like we did before, you know, because we've got, you know, get cups yeah. and stuff. And... So I'm still waiting for that mug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have a mug. Were, you, were, no. were we supposed to send you one? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I'm not sure. Hoping to be. He's lying. He's, he's just going to write on a piece of no. paper. I owe you a mug. <laughs> yeah. Have you'll have to have uh, a. Let me get, let me get them. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, if you if you have, we can. I don't know what's happened. Um, if Sharon sent you one, um, I'll have to ask it. I, I'll ask I, you. I, I, oh, you. Where's uh, my mug? Send, send uh, address. Uh, I haven't sent yet. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, there you go then. It's your yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just want it really badly. What do we have? To Get do? off! That's <laughs> my mug. <laughs> They're pretty cool. <gasps> oh, I'm jelly. <laughs> oh, more of them. <laughs> wait, is it blue on the back of both of them? I've just noticed something. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. This is epic news. I've just been noticed. Who cares about the mug? They have tea bags. Nobody cares. Oh. About I I thought he was gonna say gamer hive tea bags. I was gonna say, whoa, yeah. we got a bit oh, far there. Yeah. That would be amazing. That'd be some of the original. But yeah, when you get a mug, you get a free tea bag as well to make a cup yeah. of tea. Oh, I like oh, it. I like it. <laughs> funny tea facts. Bags. Funny facts of uh, tea. You know, you, you guys put milk in your tea. <laughs> yeah. And I don't Green. see that here. In London. Milk in tea or cream do, in tea. You want to know uh, another my, fact? My 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 grandma used to uh, do that, you know, and that was yeah, well, yeah, that's grandma tea. But then I learned all over England does that, and like yeah. all drinking grandma tea. I should get yeah. a job as a hand model. 
<laughs> do, do, do you want to know another fact <laughs> about tea? Here that? in the UK, even though the tea is they known like as uh, a British delicacy, like we're always drinking tea, we're known for yeah. our tea. Yeah, even at ten PM, oh, let me grab some tea. Only, uh, only as of like two years ago, we were we were able to grow tea. Oh shit! Oh. So <laughs> our climate and our our land is not actually built to make tea. Okay. So as yeah. much as tea is a British thing, we can't, <laughs> we could never, we could never grow it. So it wasn't actually a British thing. So where do, where do so we get it from? The, the, the only place, <laughs> as of two years ago, we were able to grow it down in Cornwall. So okay. it's the only can place we that we can. Garden? That's all I want to no, you can't. Can't. So how do well, we get our English blend or English melange? Well, 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 before that, we had to import it in like everything else because we're a small little island. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Educational. Where is that I, I don't know, but if if I drink anything, it has to be tea. You know, coffee. Yeah. I'm, a like... I'm a coffee man. No, coffee. coffee's like... disgusting. Hey! Get out of here. Coffee's hey! disgusting. Hey! Well done. <laughs> to, to be honest, no. I don't. I don't yeah, drink I hot. My coffee. I don't drink hot drinks because if I drink a hot drink, I boil up really quick. I tend and to just stick to water. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't drink. I don't drink hot drinks at all. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I I tend to just drink to to water. The only time I drink hot drinks is if I'm camping somewhere in the cold. <laughs> Which makes sense. Um, so I feel like I'm an eight-year-old man. The amount of tea I drink. <laughs> Tea, custard creams, uh, and a that, dressing gown. That's my evening sorted. That's my not tea, is... that's an empty glass. My name is just not <laughs> I know. Tea. It's a false of habit. I do it at home. I just pick up empty glasses for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> and Pirate's oh, false is a free. What, 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 what's uh, next on the list? Um, <sighs> um, oh, I'm throwing that tea to bagel. <laughs> The only thing I have really left to discuss, if you guys want to discuss it, is the Steam versus Epic Games. Um, it's, uh, no it's, it's a it's a nice little know. a nice little subject. Yeah. Me, oh, Saki, yeah. <laughs> me, me, Saki, and uh, was it Fate or Mano had a discussion um, about the other day? I think it was uh, uh, Night. No, it not might have like been Madness. Um, the other night. Oh yeah, it was Dread of Night. Me, you, yes. and Dread of Night. Yeah. Um, and Mano was there, but he kind of stayed out of the conversation a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. He was in in and out of it. Um, we had a bit of a discussion about the whole Steam and Epic, and uh, it turned out that me and Manu agreed with Epic Games. It's a good thing that they're doing this, and Saki and Dread of Night was kind of against us of no stick to Steam. Um, but the the way we see it is, um, Epic Games doing their game store is uh, it's competition, which is yeah, good. It's, it's it's a little bit like Mixer now stepping into Twitch, yeah, um, exactly. but it's Epic Games stepping on to Steam, which okay. is good. We need that competition for the market. Um, a lot of people saying that uh, Epic Games is bad, it's horrible, blah, blah, blah. I don't see any issue with it. I, I've never had any problems with any of the Epic Games games. They've all ran smoothly for me. They've all worked. Um, I, I just don't see any issues with it, apart from the fact that it is a separate program. We would all love to have everything in the same program. Yes. But it's not G It's G not always going to work that way. Yeah, it's yeah. not all going to work like that. Um, Isn't yeah. Epic Games the only one that brought true crossplay lately with PlayStation 4, Xbox, and PC via Dauntless? Via, via Fortnite. Uh, there's not what? just Dauntless, but also uh, not just Fortnite, but also Rocket League. Yeah, because I know Fortnite started the debacle for crossplay, like you stated. Because I remember reading, and then people started asking for more. Companies started refusing to cooperate with Sony yep. without it. Because I'm hearing this, <sighs> I'm not a PC gamer, but I've been seeing a lot of people falling out of like Borderlands Three being on Epic Games and not Steam, and it I is, really just don't see what the issue is. People don't like going over to another program. That's that's the issue. Uh, is it, if you, I'd be happy Steam, if I can play the game. Steam has been around for so long um, yeah. that people are used to Steam. Steam is the number one game, game category uh, program on your computer. But because now Epic Games are stepping into that, that, that world, 
Nobody Everyone's like, Tim no, no, we don't want Everyone it. Everyone <laughs> likes Gabe Neville, but nobody likes Tim Sweeney. There's a reason. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, I generally, me personally, I don't see no issue with the bit of competition there. Um, I, they're, they're not offering... All, always is, but Epic Game Store needs to develop its store page a lot better. Uh, they do, you know, uh, it's good for the developers that the cuts of in your game on their store is a lot less yeah. than Steam, so that's their competition, that's their drive. I mean, but what we, as a community all over the world, don't like is that they nick your favorite games and put it exclusively on their storefront, so you'll be using their storefront. But that's not but down to them. That's, keep, down to the, that's down to the. That's down to the developer. That's down to the developer. It's because true. um you got like uh subnautica well, that's subnautica right. subnautica has it on steam epic games and discord because discord yeah. is starting to do the same where they, where you can buy games off discord um and Subna yeah. subnautica are on all three of those so it's down to the developer it's not necessarily down to um the program <laughs> um but like you, you say about that they have to develop the the page i agree with you on that they, they definitely need to make that better yeah. but they are still in the early stages um same with with mixer like mixer still need to develop on, on their side um but they're, yeah, they're only but, young they're only new i do want to have certainty that epic games keep the store alive as long as uh steam still is and still going I I don't want to lose the whole library, and people could be afraid about that. You know, losing all library because Epic Games make a big blunder or a big blunder. There's got to be some uh, kind of protection against that. There's got to be yeah, some kind of protection. There's the, the, not the really protection of digital goods at the moment, really. It has to be though, because the amount of money people's put in. You know, yeah. you don't want to just. That's that. That was the fee with me going to PC and Steam is because I like to have a hard copy of the game in my hand. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, but sometimes even if you own a disc you, you still sign up to a, a, a server and if that server goes your disc can't you know if it's only online your disc means nothing really yeah yeah so but but, is it isn't that protection on the developer side so if epic games went under and say you brought borderlands that would be down to the developer borderlands not epic games because you brought it, it from one's the right Something to do with the store rights. Yeah. Like, um, I was reading something about uh, Deadpool, for example. Um, a yeah. lot of digital stores stopped selling it on the digital store because it lost its store rights. And now a lot of people lost money from it. And it wasn't the developers who could help them. It was the store who owned the rights to sell it because they couldn't mm. sell it anymore. It's down to the store themselves to protect the customers because the developers can only hand games for so long and rent them onto a, a store to sell them. But if that store can't keep selling them, then it's not the developer's fault, it's the store itself. Yeah, but it's just like, good point. If, if I was to pre-order like an Assassin's Creed game from Game in the UK and Game was to go under, in my eyes, it would be Game's responsibility to protect me against that oh, yeah. than the companies. So I just think if it's a digital store, it should be the same policy. If they've got a yeah. game advertised and they lose the rights, they need to protect the customer, not the developers. So I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah, they, they would have, they would must have some sort of protection in, in place where, because Steam could be the same. What if Steam went under? I mean, Steam's been around for years, but yeah. with Epic coming out, Epic could destroy Steam to the fact that Steam goes under. Yeah. I don't I mean, really sure uh, I have no, I'm just, games. just looking for excuse to not yeah. use Epic Games. Though, I mean, really. the one thing I one thing I I generally like about Epic to Steam, and not a lot, not a lot of people know this, is with Steam, for you to be able to add friends to Steam, you have to buy games from Steam, right? So, say you have one game on Steam, that only allows you to have say five friends added. You can't add any more than five friends until you buy a couple more games because you let you know those levels that you get on steam oh every few levels you go up you unlock amount of friends that you can add to your steam yeah, um, okay. and that is the, that's that. that's one of the only reasons for the level system on steam okay. um, which i think particularly that is is, is a load of crap because that's forcing you to have to buy games 
just so you can play with your friends on Steam. Um, See, I know it's like, cause Epic don't have that. I've now got Steam on my PC because I want to play Elder Scrolls Legends. And I tried to add a lot of Hive members as friends. And Steam said to me, I need to spend £5 minimum to add a friend. <laughs> and I'm just like thinking, hang on a minute, why do I have to spend money and buy a game to add friends? You know, I'm here to play free to play games like Path of Exile. But that's why they're stopping you from like doing that. that. They're stopping you from using it as free to plays. I just think that's unfair. I think yep. if you're going to own a storefront, uh, especially on PC, because I think it's different on consoles because you've got that extra like party chats and all that, and you can socialize on different forms. So if you've got a big store. But on, on console, PC, you've got to pay to be online. On, on PC, you don't. Yeah, there is that. Ridiculous but... with these things. Yeah. I just think if you own a storefront that has a social side, you should never charge for the social side. Like, you yeah. may have to charge for playing social games on console, but a lot of them have free to play MMOs that require no online subscription. Yeah. So that's the way around it. So I, chat isn't exclusive to pay. I always so su suggest to people. Chat. I always suggest to people if you're starting off on Steam, and there's that one game that you want to play with people, the best thing you can do is go onto somewhere like Humble Bundle and buy a cheap bundle which is it can be as cheap as uh like one to five pound like anywhere between one and five pound the cheapest bundle and that will give you five to six games sometimes and uh, add those to your steam and then like you get that a bit of a level up and you should be able to to add, invite more people um but it is it is ridiculous the only thing i hate about steam um which as i said epic doesn't have that but what ha what epic has in replace of that, in a better way, is they have um, uh, support your developers and support your content creators. So content creators and developers have a code. If you use that code, um, they get a percentage of your sale, uh, sorry, of their sale. So if you buy a game for say twenty pounds, they get a small percentage of that, um, which I think is it's a brilliant idea um, from Epic. It's not they're... beneficial. Yeah, well, they're not pocketing everything then, so yeah, that's my that's my points and views on it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of pros that come both ends, but um, Steam already proved himself. They're a bit yeah lackluster mm. with keep their content going or keep the content fresh and not shovelware or. Even uh, M-rated uh, games and stuff like that, uh, but yeah, I just want my games on what store from really. But that's my personal opinion. <laughs> Have we got some questions from um, Hive members in chat? Uh, I had a look. Um, not really. Uh, I was, <laughs> to be honest, I was supposed to put the question out um, a lot earlier, but I totally forgot. Um, <laughs> All, all there's been is uh, Victorious pretty much ask, um, uh, are we going to be using other, uh, having other guests from the Hive? Uh, which is yes, we will be. Um, I've, I mean, I think only two or three of the podcasts so far have had uh, the same members, but otherwise we've had quite a few different members on. Yeah. Um, but First we will be. Here. Yeah, and for night. Um, okay. so we will be having new new members. Um, I think we basically the next um, podcast date it will be like um, <clears throat> we'll put the word out that this is going to happen the first person yeah. to respond basically yeah yeah, yeah. Um, what powers would you have and why ah, super saiyan <laughs> <laughs> why that kind of why it's my, my childhood thing I just uh I just love it. What got me into anime, really? But, uh, if, if it's about powers, then that, yeah. So, yeah, could immediately answer that question. That, that so powers comes pops in my mind. So powers um, would be for me. It'll be my um, all-time superhero. It'll be obviously Superman. No, yeah. nice, um, nice. Because you know, as well as all these other powers, you know, when you've had a bad day, you can just fly off and just, you know, go and soak in front of the sun or something. <laughs> as you do, as you do. 
Next yeah. way fishing and not to forget. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet you like that one, Saki. <laughs> uh, and night? Me? Uh, yeah. Wonder Woman. Time travel. Oh, that's time, time, time travel. Time travel. Okay. My like Doctor what, Who thing? What, why why time I've travel? Of, yes. Cause that's not a superpower. It is. A lot of he- superheroes time travel. And the reason is, it's the only reason why I play Assassin's Creed. I'm a massive fan of history. And if I could relive the days where Rome was sacked or relive the days of some of the greatest battles in history or even how Machu Picchu was built, it would be, just be amazing. I'm secretly a nerd at heart for these sort of things. Well, just, just read a book or Google it. <laughs> well, I, I studied um, history for A-levels, and I just thought, you, don't you need know... To, you don't need to go back in time, then. So Yeah, but I went to the battlefields of Belgium for <laughs> school, and I just kind of thought, wouldn't it be better if I was there when it happened? Just what, if you see... get a, what, if it, what if you get an arrow in the head or something? I mean, to... <laughs> Screw in, like in, in, that, in Knight's defence, he could see whether it happened the way that we've been told it happened. Ah, yeah. True. Why don't come back and go, bullshit! <laughs> 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 but think about all the bet I could do, you know, Grand National, football. Yeah. Okay, so okay. I could be a millionaire. That's cheating. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll look up the time continuum. Uh, but to feel, I think my um, my power would be to be able to learn anything straight away. So, like, if, if I just, if I looked at it and I wanted to learn, say, like, build I know something. Kung Fu. I, yeah, exactly. I could just go, I want to learn Kung Fu. Boom. Learn it. Like the Matrix. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Just think of it, done. I know it. Um, I think epic. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Um, Maybe with the Nerf gear from uh, Elon Musk. Uh, Nerf, uh, what was it? Uh, Nerf, not Nerf gear, that's something from... Oh, Neuralink. Neuralink, yeah. Neuralink. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Why did I say it yes three times there? (laughs) Um... (laughs) Small, a small little plug for Elon Musk. <laughs> if you haven't seen the Neuralink uh, stream that he did, go and watch it. It's, it's kind of interesting, but it's also funny how awkward you can see Elon Musk in it. All right. <laughs> um, okay, uh, this question's a bit for Neville, um, considering he's uh, one of the founders. Um, what was what, what was one game that shaped the gaming community as a whole? Boom. Mic drop. <laughs> um what well, like it depends on what game struck you really would not it like I would say the last of us um the last of us opened my eyes to how gaming could be made and stuff and oh i I think he means the, as in the game I have what shaped the gaming. He hasn't been specific. He just said the gaming community. What game shaped the gaming community? I don't know if he means the gamer hive. I don't know. Have a look. Is this it? That's in chat, isn't it? Yeah. It's from Trick Victor's. to one, because everybody has their own personal taste. So, you so know, this destiny could drop. Because if, if it's... Is, is he not on about, like, the whole gaming community? Is it as in, like, the whole world type thing? I don't know. I, don't know. I think that's what he means. You know what I mean? Because if he means something like that, I mean, it would have been like way back in the seventies when the first Pac-Man come out, when the first yeah. Bong. Um, <laughs> Jet Set Willy come out, the first um, Manic Miner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and the arcades was before that. Well, yeah, around the same time, the arcades. Maybe um, more more recently with the new kind of thing for gaming, and not talk about VR, but Pokemon Go. I mean, we all stood up and held our phones and talked to each other and went on the out- to the outside world. Like, what well, is this light, you know? I didn't yeah. Care, but that's what, as a gaming community as a whole, for the whole planet. My, da- my daughters were walking around and, you know, I had to, like, tell them to stop at the edge of the road because we're trying <laughs> to chase down a bloody dragon or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Stop, there's a road here. It's, it's a tough stop question. Working. It's a tough question without it being specific because... Yeah. A game that has shaped the gaming community as a whole. Tons of games, really. Like I know, just every every couple years. 
Well, yeah, every couple of years, a game shaped like Fortnite. Fortnite shaped uh, the gaming yeah, yeah. community when that first came out, uh, being a, a huge BR game and that hitting it off. Um, multiplayer games in general, online, shaped mm-hmm. the gaming community back in, in yeah, 2004. Halo shaped first person shoot online. Yeah. Um, so that's a, it's a very difficult question, that one. Um, Angry Scotsman says, should we promote our streamers? Nah, fuck them. Not nah, chicken. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't see why not. They've been loyal. They've been hardworking. They've been uh, strong. Um, doing bloody well. Yeah. Does he mean promote them as in promote them on an out- on each other's streams? Is that well, what he means? Well, I mean, to be fair, he did follow up with um, like when someone goes goes live, we announce it on our social media, which um, we can do that. I'm sure we can. Yeah. Set that up Someone somehow on our Twitter. Yeah, especially on Twitter, we've done that. So actually, yeah. that, that's very, that's very, that's very good. That question because um, when I'm thinking of things, which I do think a lot, when I'm like not doing anything, and when I'm doing stuff, when he's on the shit, he pop, means in the shower, on the <laughs> shit, having a shave, <laughs> anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was actually thinking that I'm thinking right, and I was going to talk to you about it. So he's he's hit the nail right in the head. Exactly what I was thinking yeah. a few weeks back, and now is um, giving call outs to like, do you know my streams where it says um, starting soon or whatever? Yeah, I'm actually starting to put feed on, um, thanking for new followers and new or people that's basically Good. keeping us um, um, keeping us company in me ch- in me streams and stuff, and I put their names on 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 my actual stream now like yeah. I, I did with night um so um, thank ooh. you very much and like big star okay. stars and stuff on the screen and a picture of a planet basically saying you're out of this world thank you yeah it's I mean, something I, i've been I'll doing send. as well because i said in the stream uh chat a few days ago but i didn't get a lot of responses so i've just been stealing people's url links every month i'm making it clear that i'm having a spotlight so when i stream my stream title will have somebody's stream name in it so Saki's little phantoms squatting Neville's, and there'll be a little message in the first minute of me starting that this is to a spotlight of a streamer so i'm spotlighting squatting Neville streamer checking the comments for his url you can go check it out and then it's my stream and then for a end stream i do another callback for people that have yeah. missed it like this is my spotlight and then every month i'll be picking different people to do it so i'm hoping if it's a good video and I get 36 views, which I've had in the past, and they see, oh, hang on a minute, this is Little Phantom who's been getting a call out, let's check his channel, and they quite enjoy it, they could then pop over there, and then that helps push people out. And I think a spotlight like that is a good way to give back to the community. Agreed. Agreed. If it works. Um, <laughs> I, I, I like it. I like what I, uh, Angry Scotland is saying there. Um, definitely, uh, we said this before, we need to make use of our Twitter and stuff a bit more. Um, yeah. Which I think we we would definitely well, be doing. And Facebook, get get your get your yeah yeah your Facebook, things on yeah, there. Get, you know, yeah. so um, but it's there uh, for people to use. As it is for now, as, as stands our our streamers are um, me on uh, whether it's Twitch or Mixer, uh, uh, Little Phantom uh, Twenty Five. Uh, you got Saki, which is pretty much just Saki. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, yeah on (laughs) on both platforms you got night on twitch uh goes under as night of madness uh assassin of madness oh assassin of madness because he's awkward (laughs) Um, well no it's because i mainly promote (laughs) assassin's creed games on there as best i I can and then you've got uh scott and neville over on facebook uh we have fate neo on mixer Mm-hmm. Um, we've got I'm trying to think now. Angry Scotsman on Twitch. Angry Scotsman yeah. on Twitch, and I'm trying to think. Uh, Fe- Ren- what's uh Phoenix Renzo's on Twitch as well. Phoenix, Phoenix. What's the rest of it? Thunder Phoenix. Yeah. 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 Trying to think if there's underscores in it. Yeah. Yeah, too. Yeah, there, yeah, there is. is. Uh, no, I'm trying to think if it was in his Twitch as well. Um, oh, underscore yeah. uh, under. Thunder underscore underscore Phoenix <laughs> on Twitch as well. Um, they're the main streamers, I believe we have. Um, yes. Oh, we've got um, GQ Guna 
JR2 as well over on Twitch. Um, so, guys, uh, so guys, when you're watching this, um, if you want a shout out of um, your stream, um, your name, and everything, just tell us and we'll give you a big shout out in our podcast, yeah. the future podcast. You know what I mean? So, we'll, we'll announce that we're recording a podcast and just let us yeah, know when, yeah. when we do that. Maybe yeah. even uh, add a clip to the podcast of your highlights. So, if you stream in and you have uh, record some streams, have some video on demand, then mm -hmm. record some highlights, send them over to us, and we'll highlight it in between or at the end of the podcast and stuff like that. Yeah. We could definitely realize um, that. I think this is the last question. Um, Sharon asks, How did everyone choose their gamer name? <laughs> oh, that's oh, a good God. story. Who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? <laughs> I think, I think um, Little Phantom should go first. Come oh. on. Yeah, Phantom. Uh, so, is that from Ben 10? Or is... No, no. <laughs> uh, everyone asks that. Everyone says it's, it's related to Ben yeah. 10. It's not. Um, it's it's actually it's quite a simple story. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a family thing. So um, years and years ago, back on the, the PS2, um, me and my brother used to play WWE a lot, um, and obviously, uh, as you would know, if you ever played the game, you could create your own wrestle rest, wrestle character, uh -huh. um, your own wrestler, um, and you can name him whatever and all that kind of stuff. Um, my brother was always known as um, Dark Phantom, and that was his character. Um, it, his friend, him and his friends all used to play res uh, wrestling as well. They'd go around to each other's house. They would all have their own names. And he was always known as Dark Phantom. So when it got to the point that I used to play PlayStation with him, the only name I could think of, which made sense because I was his little brother, was <laughs> Little Phantom. So I just yeah, followed nice. on with Little Phantom. Um, yeah. He ended up actually changing his name to um, Scrappy D. Um, <laughs> which which kind of sucks. Cause it, it then thing is, if... If I'd named when I used to watch wrestling as I, I was a kid, I would be called Big Daddy or something. Oh, <laughs> or, 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 giant, or giant haystacks. If you haven't heard of them wrestlers, Google them because they're proper like 80s wrestlers. I think uh, 80s, 80s, yeah. 90s. Yeah. I don't <laughs> yeah. watch wrestling. <laughs> Night, um, I wonder how you got your name. Yeah. Um, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a weird story. Um, when I got proper back into gaming, uh, the first game I played was Oblivion, and I met the Daedric Prince of Madness, Shagorov. And yeah, Shagorov, yeah. He actually, a lot of his Madness quotes inspired me, and I have mental health, which I've admitted in the hive a few times, and I've done the awareness. And I realized I always treat my mental health as like madness, like to be a bit more jokey, so that just stuck. And then... I originally did go by Knight of Madness because I used to have a Skyrim character that was a knight. But as I started to play more assassin builds, I just thought I'd fuse the two. And then I'd just live off an assassin of madness. So, a bit weird. I think I was just bored one night as well. Brilliant. <laughs> Very good. It suits you. I know my name, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm dying to hear this. <laughs> yeah, it actually is from World of Warcraft. It's um, the last character I had when I stopped playing the game. Um, it was a Tauren Shaman, uh, so it was Horde, you know, and chat has been uh, going on with uh, for the Horde and such, but it will be Alliance. Yeah. <laughs> a little Hopefully rooting for Alliance for the humans and Night Elves and such, but uh, yeah, that was my last character, just named Sark, and then, yeah, my computer broke, stopped playing, uh, went back to console gaming, PS3 and such, and picked up Modern Warfare. Yeah, I had to figure out, okay, what name? I'll just stick with Sark. Sark um, 744 it was back then. Uh, still is my PlayStation name. And, and your Twitter name? I have a Twitter name, yeah. Um, that 744 is a number sequence that I used from a good friend of mine back in the day. Um, he used to have a uh, clan uh, in uh, Call of Duty, and there was his real-life friends in his town. And they all have the clan tag M44. I have no idea what it means, but yeah, <laughs> since I, yeah, I just, you know, since I 
friends with them and thought, okay, Sark, Sam, four, four. Even like that. before that was the beginning of their phone number. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. No, <laughs> uh, but when things grow on, uh, the, the name stuck with me, and uh, used it on social media as a game attack as well, and. Then on Destiny, um, everyone in that little community uh, we call Clan Jelly One Crew. Um, on our little community, they just call me Sarki, like in smaller name, like Sarki. So I'll just okay. So the next best thing on Steam and such, okay, Sarki. But I'll just add more eyes just because of it. And Why not? Since then, Saki, yeah, but it always originated from my last World of Warcraft character. Ah. Now we're back at it. So, my yeah, first pretty, uh. character name, already reserved, thanks to Josh, is Saki. <laughs> but then with two eyes, because Blizzard doesn't allow three eyes. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, there's always something. But yeah, Saki. <laughs> okay, squatting Neville. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. Um,. There's this comedy program called Bottom. Okay. With Rick Malin and Aid Edmondson. Yeah. Must be English then. No yeah, yeah. You, you can you can you can put watch on YouTube, right? So if you put in okay. bottom <laughs> put in bottom, then camping, right? There's a camping scene where they're camping in the middle of a roundabout because they lose a bet, right? <laughs> but they couldn't live in the right, in, right. in the rough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they end up but, in the middle of a roundabout anyway. But basically, bottom and then river. What? Yeah. Are you, are you doing but, it now? But yeah. bottom and camping. Oh, camping. camping sorry. So yeah, camping camping for something. And they're basically the hunting for to survive and they're basically hunting a hedgehog. Ah, yeah. I know that actor. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So they're the hunting a hedgehog and basically um, Rick Mail, like rest in peace, love him. Um, Decides to give themselves like real, like Indian really names. So yeah. he's basically saying, Should we just call ourselves like Neville? What about Squat and Neville? You know what I mean? Ah. So that's where I got oh, it from the, that comedy wow. program. Nice. So you'll have, like I said, you'll have to put bottom in, then put camp and actually watch yeah. the whole episode. It's 20 odd minutes long, but it's hilarious. Yeah. Nice. And you'll see basically you're Squat and Neville. And I was like, You know, that's something different. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's... Nice uh, background story, a lot better than mine, <laughs> if I say so myself. <laughs> See, there's only, there's only a few, there's only one person that's got my name, and that's my brother, because he loves Bottom oh. as well. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yeah. So he's like, that, that's from Bottom. No, he said, like, sit, no, sitting Neville, squatting Neville. You know, I was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know where I've got him from. <laughs> so, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, that, I mean that's it for the questions, and yeah. say that's it for the podcast. Unless anyone else has anything they want to, yeah, yeah, I just want to say um, thank you very much, um, little Phantom, for getting us together again. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, me. Although I, I was very tired, and I was like, Sharon had to make it. Go on, Martin. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Honestly, honestly, it I was nothing. I was like, I don't think I can do this. Um, but I, I really enjoyed it, so thank you very much, um, Little Phantom, for pushing us and stuff and getting us back on board. Okay, mate. Um, no and also, um, thank you too for being here and um, being part Bye. of it. Pleasure. Really appreciate it. But last thing is, we've just been talking about people's um, PSN names, gamer tags. In the next podcast, tell us where you got your names from. And then we'll talk about it in the next podcast. And we'll should be, should put be it in reading. the comments yeah. underneath this video. Yeah, put it in the comments. And we'll read them in a little Like and subscribe. Below. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so whoever, oh. whoever's going to be the next, um, you know what I mean, guest, Yeah. you know, have a think what your story is and how you did it, because it's, it's really interesting how people come up with these names. Yeah. Oh, indeed. Indeed. The, the most uninteresting one I've ever heard is, is someone said the other day that they... Um, that, they just asked PlayStation for a name and it just gave them one. Oh, no. And I was like, <laughs> really? Everyone has these kind of weird kind of stories and you just asked PlayStation for a name. <laughs> I've, oh. had a, I've, had a, I've had a few names. Um, basically, one was um, called Sir Come A Lot. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and um, right. I, was yeah. on a game, I was on a gaming site on, on, the, on a website and I got banned from it because of my name. <laughs> and then the complaint sure. on the PS. And then the one was Squidgy Cheeks. 
I remember sitting in Destiny when it first came out, and I was sitting in the hub of Destiny and just looking down, and there was just all these random names, and it was so funny because some of them were just ridiculous. Uh, it's so funny them... when you see them, you do it. Isn't oh, it? yeah. Just, it makes I... you smile. It's brilliant. Of course, of course. And, that, and that's that's what it's about, though. It's yeah, what exactly. It's about. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming along to this podcast. It's been great to do one again. Um, it's a shame it's been so long, and hopefully we'll be yeah. following the same track, doing one every two weeks. Um, and, uh, yeah. yeah, you guys will you will see this in, posted on YouTube in the next couple of days. So. And um, in the next few episodes, I will be wearing my Superman costume. Oh, I love it! I love and it. I'll and I'll give you, yeah, I'll have the whole costume one, um, and I'll give you a bit of a little twirl and something like that. So make sure we get a get on oh, our podcast. I want to see the high hills. I want to see the high hills. <laughs> I'll have them. What do I actually? It's good. good. <laughs> oh god! Can't okay. wait. Have well, to find where I put it now. I know it's it's stuff somewhere. <laughs> Okay, guys, do make sure you leave uh, your favourite parts of this uh, podcast in the comments below, as well as leaving us your, the reasons to your names. And uh, we'll catch you guys uh, in two weeks' time for the next podcast. Yep, thank you. See you later, guys. Bye. Take care.